الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ما بعد يا الأخوة السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Praise be to Allah, Lord of the Worlds, peace and blessings on your Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So here we are in this wonderful season of Ramadan and the significance of the fasting of Ramadan, brothers and sisters. Uh, and it really is a season of hope, a season of gratitude and a season of bolstering our sabr. Uh, that's what this really is about through fasting, uh, which Allah SWT, all His wisdom and His mercy um, made uh, obligatory for those who are, are present at home and able to uh, to fast uh, in this uh, uh, blessed month of um, mercy. Uh, this is a month of sabr, and I call it sabr, uh, not because of the uh, famous and weak hadith, um, which is in uh, actually not in the most famous uh, six books of hadith, but uh, mentioned in Sahih ibn Khuzaim and also al-Bayhaqi later on. Uh, and that's the famous hadith mentions as a, as a month of fasting, uh, but also mentions various other things, including first part of the month being mercy, second maghfira, and the third part, say, from the hellfire. This is, as I said, a week of these. We don't need it. It's superfluous. Some people say, oh, it's all right in fadail, in mentioning the virtues. But no, it's not necessary, because it mentions some elements from ilm al which are not uh, acceptable and cannot be taken from a week of these. But it's an authentic hadith, the idea of the fast of Ramadan. Uh, being uh, uh, and the month being a month of Sabbath. The Prophet said a hadith which is authentic and uh, reported by Ahmad and Tabrani al Bazar. Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Sawmu shahri sabr wa thalathata ayyam min kulli shahr yadhabna wahra sabr. In this hadith, Prophet said, fasting of the month of sabr, yani Ramadan, and three days from each month will remove wahra sadr ulama said will remove hiqt al ghayz hatred and um, uh, anger uh, so that's encouraging the three months voluntarily uh, three days from each month beyond but the main thing i want to mention from here at the moment as much as you can say about this hadith is that here it mentions this month as being the uh, month of ramadan being the month of sabr uh, fortitude, patience, uh, steadfastness, uh, which helps to control. But already we know with COVID and the situation that we face that uh, there's a, uh, an encouragement through difficulty and trial. Allah SWT uh, encouraged uh, this idea of sabr in the Quran already where he mentions about tribulation trials coming to all of us. In this ayah, <coughs> that we will definitely put you to trial with something of fear, of hunger, and the ayah carries on because so short of time, I don't have time to go into all of it. But Allah SWT says in that ayah, وَبَشِّرِ sabirin, Give glad tidings to those who are patient and steadfast. الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ مُصِيبَةً Those who, when they are faced with any kind of calamity or tribulation or difficulty or harm, قَالُوا إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ They say, surely... We belong to Allah and to indeed to Him is our return. And that's the attitude that a sabr produces. And uh, Umm Mu'min Aisha anha, when she mentions a hadith reported by Bukhari, the Prophet mentioning about Ta'un, when she asked him about Ta'un, the plague or pandemic uh, coming, the Prophet after, and again, I can't mention the whole hadith because there's no time. When he mentions that it is rahmatun uh, rahmatun uh, lil it is a mercy for the believers, a plague coming, subhanallah. And then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, When the plague comes, there isn't a single individual who stays in his land, and that can also mean staying in the home, in com uh, confinement. Uh, that's the idea. Uh, sabiran with patience, muhtasiban, hoping for rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya'lamu annahu la yusibuhu ma illa ma katab Allahu lahu. Knowing full well that nothing can harm him or her or anyone except 
that which Allah has written for him or her. إِلَّا كَانَ لَهُ مِثْلُ عَجْرِ شَهِيدٍ Except the reward for such a person is the reward of a shaheed. That means, of course, as is clarified in other ahadith, that if the person then perishes from the plague, doing all this patience and hoping for reward with iman, that if they perish, that they die uh, and uh, die as a shaheed. Subhanallah. That's when they die, this reward is there. Subhanallah. So the sabr is already mentioned. So as if for all of those who are uh, gone through, lost loved ones in this uh, difficult a, a year and a bit that's gone, uh, and, and uh, those who have suffered uh, COVID, those who have got long COVID, those who have difficulty with confinement financially, um, those who've had marital issues because of the confinement, those who have got depressed and those who became anxious, for all them there is great hope and to bolster and to take them out of that confinement to a spiritual journey to raise them this month came to take the spiritual journey to Allah SWT, bring us close to Allah SWT, to free us and develop that patience. This is a great gift from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. this month of uh, sabr. Yeah? So that sabr, uh, if we really understand the essence of the fasting, it came to bolster all that in us and to give us a relief with a, with a promise of rewards which are immeasurable, immeasurable. That's why Prophet mentioned in the hadith, which is uh, saying from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Kullu amal ibn Adam lahu illa sayyam fa innahu li wa ana ajzi bih. All of the uh, deeds of the uh, son or daughter of Adam are for him or her, meaning the reward is uh, 10 to 700 times a reward, except for fasting. Yeah. And that is for me, he's doing this or she's doing this and I will personally reward for it. Yeah? Which links with the sabr and Allah SWT is saying uh, to finish with in the Quran وَإِنَّمَا يُوَفَّ الصَّابِرُونَ أَجْرَهُمْ بِغَيْرِ حساب. Uh, Surely the, the reward uh, will, uh, the, the people who are practicing sabr will be compensated with reward without any limits, without any limits. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of the sabirun in this month of sabr. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, remove our difficulties and trials and remove our worries and our depression and our sadness and lift us spiritually and bring us closer to him. Allahumma ameen. Akul kawli hata wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum innahul rahim. Assalamu alaikum.